What are bad signs after a tick bite? Here are seven signs I'd like to discuss. Now this is part of the Common Sense Lyme series. I address questions that are coming up in my practice. I've been in practice 37 years. I'm Dr. Daniel Cameron. So one thing to look for is a rash, but instead of looking for a bullseye rash, more commonly it's a flat red rash, uh, but you can also have purplish type rash, blistering rashes. If they're different types, uh, it's really hard to tell if it's Lyme or not, so it's good to have a doctor involved in helping to interpret. You also need to be aware that if you have multiple rashes, that's something called early disseminated, which means the Lyme has gotten your bloodstream and came out and to be taken seriously. Even these rashes aren't always typical. In fact, more often they're sort of atypical and in multiple locations. And oval is uh, one of the patterns that you see. Now, if you have fevers, chills, and fatigue after a known tick bite, that's important because even though it could be something else like bronchitis, sinusitis, it's a possibility that it's a Lyme because the flu-like symptoms sometimes happen in Lyme, but don't always happen. If you have fatigue and night sweats, at least consider that Babesia, which is a tick-borne illness, might be related, and Lyme can cause uh, fatigue and sweats. So if they appear within several weeks, at least uh, you can consider this a red flag. Now, if you have joint and muscle pain, unexplained pain and stiffness, pain in uh, knees and shoulders, you should take that into account. Could be uh, a single joint, uh, but uh, instead of just the knee, there are multiple joints that can get involved. Take that serious. Neurologic issues like headaches, neck stiffness, tingling, numbness, dizziness, brain fog, uh, Bell's palsy happens, and that uh, commonly happens in Lyme. Half the Bell's palsy ends up being Lyme disease in some studies, but anything, any of these symptoms should be uh, of concern. Heart issues. If one has an irregular heart rate, there is uh, finds their pulse drop, especially if it drops below uh, 35, is that could be Lyme carditis. So keep that in mind. Shortness of breath could come from uh, a tick-borne illness uh, like Babesia. But shortness of breath can also probably come from Lyme carditis where the heart rate is low. Digestive issues. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea can occur. Loss of appetite. This is usually an autonomic nervous system part of Lyme. And it should be taken into account if it occurs after a tick bite. Mood and behavioral changes. Lyme seems to trigger a, a lot of... Um, Neuropsychiatric issues, it may be because of the neurotransmitters being increased uh, in response to the illness as part of the autoimmune system, but it can be almost every mood you can think of. Irritability is pretty common. That's why you hear the word Lyme rage for some people, but also the other moods like anxiety, despair, OCD, uh, paranoia, even depersonalization can happen after a, a tick bite. And when should you seek medical attention? You should use your own judgment, but with these warning signs, you should at least uh, bring that to the doctor's attention and get evaluated. You could save the tick for uh, testing, but a lot of times you don't see the tick. The tick is damaged, uh, and sometimes when you have blood in the tick, you actually interfere with the test. So even though it's nice to save a tick, review the tick, uh, I'm always disappointed when I look at a tick. So this is part of a common sense Lyme disease series where I address this question. And I appreciate you joining me. Have a good day.